Hey guys, welcome back to Stormworks, and welcome back to a quick build video where we try and build an amphibious car. I don't really know what this is going to look like, I don't know how it's going to work, but hopefully it's pretty good. So, let's build something simple, get it in the water, and get it going. Alright, so building cars is not really something I'm very good at, but this right here is one of my cars, or pickup trucks, that I built in uh, one of my career mode series. What I'm going to do is actually shove windows in this, and this is going to be what we turn into an amphibious vehicle. I don't know how it's going to work, but let's get to it. Alright, so starting out, I'm going to get rid of all of these guys on the back. I don't want them to be there, so they are not going to be there. As for the doors, we're not going to go with hinges. We need to legit uh, just seal that off. There we go. Uh, the windows could be a bit of an issue here as well. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, as well as the front too. So, let's go straight to windows, and let's try and get them in here. So, let's go with black, shove that right there. Might have to delete these guys, that's fine. There we go, and there we go. Alright, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and fix this bit in. There we go, and let's paint that bit as well. Good! Right, from there, we're going to add windows to the sides. So, I'm going to shove these guys in. And then I'm going to try and add some windows into these bits too. So one there, uh, we're going to go with one here, and we're going to go with one there. Alright, that looks absolutely bizarre right now, but it should work, I think. Alright, go with the 2x3 on the back, and then a 1x2 right here. Bam. So there we go, the cockpit is sealed. The cockpit. I, I, I th I'm going to call it the cockpit. It's not really a cockpit. Anyway, attach those guys together, that's awesome. We're going to shove these guys in here, so that's all fixed together. And then we need to somehow secure the bottom. <laughs> I have no idea how we're supposed to do that, but let's go ahead and try. So, shove this guy here, this guy here, and delete this one. Go to pipes really quickly, and I think we can secure it like that. I don't know if it needed to be done on the other side or not, I'm not sure, but that's fine. Alright, so, let's stop doing things on both sides, shove that guy right there like that, delete this guy, and shove a straight piece in, there we go, and delete that guy and just shove one of these in. Okay, I think we're in a good situation here, but I don't know. Um, ooh, I don't think we can have these, I'm pretty sure we can't have those. So we're going to have to modify those with some other spotlights, like these guys. And I think that'll be fine. Okay, and then have we got any holes anywhere else? I think these are uh, sealed, but I could be wrong. I don't know, we're going to have to like roll it into the water and hope for the best. This is crazy. Oh, I currently have no way of getting in either. Uh, and also the whole door is missing on this side, what is going on? What is going on? Alright, merge that, there we go. We still got the uh, the tail lift on the back that works, but nothing else works because we've deleted it all. All right, in we go. Let's drive it to the water. Yep. All right, we're driving to the water. Super speed. Let's go. All right, we're just going to fly in and hope that the front end floats. Oh. Oh, okay. We are sort of the back end is floating, but the front end is not. This is this is really weird. <laughs> this, this is really, really strange. What's going on here? I actually think I can fix that if I can move these guys out of the way. So if I can, like, cut this... Not that I need it. I don't actually need that one. Do I need these? Yeah, I need those. Alright, okay. Let's fill this guy in really quickly. And then we'll move this guy out of there. So cut it. We'll just put it in the bed at the back. Okay. Shove that there. Paste. Alright, cool. Merge it together. And then we'll actually grab this piece as well. And we'll shove this in the back as well. I don't know if it's even something I need right now. It's for towing trailers. So it's not something I need. But it's fine. We've got it anyway. Alright, shove it in. Paste it. Merge that as well. And then fill all the holes that that was causing? I don't know. I don't know. Is there more holes somewhere? It doesn't seem like there is, but there must be. Unless there isn't. I think we've sealed all the holes. I'm pretty sure we have. Oh no, there's a hole there, look. Hole right there. And then there's a fuel tank here, so there's a... Ooh. 
Oh, I don't know if that counts as a hole. I think it does. We might have to change our fuel tank out. Okay, so I've uh, shoved the microcontroller that was on this side out of the way now. So let's go ahead and shove that in there. And then the fuel tank needs to be deleted. And we need to shove this in here. Then if we go to tanks, I can maybe use these guys. So one, two... Hopefully that's enough fuel for us. Uh oh, we are we are zooming into the water. Uh, unfortunately, sort of the wrong way. Oh, okay. I may be on fire. I have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I've got no way out though. I've got no way out. If I change vehicle damage to be off, what happens? Nah, that doesn't fix it. Okay, right. Let's do that again. Okay, so what we're hoping for here is that the vehicle actually floats to the front and the back now? Whoa, what did we even hit? I don't feel like we hit anything. <gasps> she is... she is floating though. Kind of. It is actually sort of working. Okay, uh, let's get rid of this bed. There we go. Shove this guy in the back. Get ourselves a handle really quickly. And I guess we can shove the handle, like, here? Uh, maybe? I don't know. There we go. And possibly we can actually drive the thing from here. So, A and D needs to go to the rudder that I've just added. There we go. Electricity to the rudders that we just added as well. Okay, so far so good. We now need an actual propeller, which I think we can just use a small one. Shove it on the underside, maybe, and add a motor to that. That should be it. There we go. So connect that to the electricity, connect this to W and S, and now we should be able to control it from the back. Now all we need is a way in and out of the roof, which I thought was going to be a big issue, but actually, I think we can fit a hatch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could fit a hatch. We can. All right, shove this guy right here like this. Fill in the ceiling. Okay, let's go ahead and paint this side as, as we can. There we go. And this bit. Paint around these edges right here because we need it to look a little bit nicer. And there we go. Now we should be able to get in and out of the vehicle when it's in the water, maybe. Okay, straight into the water. Splash! Yes! Okay, so far so good. We are floating. We now need to get out of the roof. Close the roof so no water gets in there. And then sail away. Oh yeah, it totally works. Totally works. It's kind of like Jeremy Clarkson's uh, pickup truck. Although we don't have the barrels flipping over the side. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Let's try it. Okay, so I'm just going to shove a pivot right here like this. And a pivot right here like this. We're then going to extend these guys actually out the sides. By about four. And I think if I attach these guys together really quickly, we can merge this and this, this and this. We can get some landing floats, these guys, and just attach them on. So, ooh, problem. We start with a problem. All right, there we go. And this one, bosh. Okay, so those are our floaties that can be dropped into the water, possibly, maybe. We'll just shove them on up and down for now. I think that'll be fine. Bosh, 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 and bosh. And I guess we can label up and down. Uh, floaties. Okay, let's go again. All right, so when actually transporting them then, they will be up in the air like this. We have to get inside via the roof. Press one and two to go forwards. There we go. Yeah, so far so good. We're then going to jump out of here. I'm actually going to press 1 again to turn off the uh, the engine. That should be fine. We should be rolling into the water now. Might take us some time to get there, but yes. Run to the back, and now we're ready to go. It's taking far too long, so we're going to jump on, and we're going to jump back inside. There we go. Drive! Yes, there we go. All right, jump out. Close the door on us, and in the hatch we go. Look at this! Okay, so, we're going back into the water. If I press W now, we should start using the propeller, which we are. And off we go! Yes! Alright, lower the things down. Not that much. Oh! Whoa! These- it, it's too quick. 
It changes. Whoa! What is it doing? Okay, down a bit, but not all the way. All right, is that good? I, I think I might have velocity pivots on by accident, which isn't the best. That is not what I want. Oh my. Okay, well, hopefully that goes down a bit and stays all right. No? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I need to fix that. That is not something that could be happening. Okay, here we go again. We're back in the water. Let's go ahead and jump outside into this. We'll go ahead and close that door. There we go. And now we need to drive. Yes. I'm also going to lower these down a little bit that hopefully will help with our stability, which I think is actually the case. That's really cool. That is really, really cool. Unfortunately, I am sort of flying. I don't know why. Well, I, I do know why that's happening, but it's kind of weird. But it is totally working. We built an amphibious truck. It, it actually works fine. All right, so I guess what we should try and do is uh, get over to, there, to, to that beach over there. But what we'll do is we'll actually increase the wind to full, and we'll see if we can deal with that on our way over. Okay, I'm actually going to trim it to full, and we're going to just keep going sort of this way. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to jump up here. I'm going to open the door on the top, and I'd actually really like to get inside. I think this would be super cozy inside of here. So we're going to get in. We're going to close this. Oh, yeah, this is so cozy. It's so cozy. Unfortunately, I uh, have no way of draw actually steering from in here. So I need to go back out, but that was cozy for a little bit. All right, back out we go. Close this up. Amazing. We're still out of here. Uh, I do feel like we probably need some more batteries. Because we are struggling right now. But it is still working. Other than it being, like, actually kind of slow, uh, there's no real issue with this. Is it 100% waves? But obviously, um, we are very close to shore, so it doesn't overly work. But, you know, it's still kind of cool. One thing that I want to try is, you see those trailers back there? No, you can't see them now. I might try and pull one of those into the water with this truck and just see what happens. I don't even know if this truck can even pull them, uh, those things, but we'll see. Okay, so first we need to actually try and get out of the water, which is sort of fine. But at the same time, not really. I need to jump in here. I need to press 1, and then we can drive up. Ah, yes! That worked really well, actually. All right, set that to zero. Let's go ahead and press two. Put the brakes on, and then we'll actually stop this as well. Okay, so far, so good. It's not really the truck that you'd use for towing, but we'll, well, I guess we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Unfortunately, the wind is sort of catching the truck on the land. <laughs> it's like pulling it around. That's bizarre. Anyway, reverse. Yeah, here we go. We'll go for this one. Oh, it's so weird, the the way it's working. All right, stop. Put it in reverse, go. Yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, you see the wind's... The wind is catching us. It's making it really difficult. Hang on. Stop. There we go. All right, press three. Reverse backwards. Okay. So we're going to go straight under this one right here. Do we even fit underneath? Ah. You see, we don't even fit underneath, so it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But we can do this. All right, that does fall down. Yeah, and then I guess we could reverse backwards into that, but that's not really going to work for us, is it? Not really. Nah. All right, well, I guess that, that can't happen. But we built an amphibious truck. It actually totally works. So let's go back in the water. I think this is fun. Let's go. Whoa, not in reverse. Forwards. Woohoo! Yes! All right, close the thing on the top, or I'm going to die. Oh! Oh! Close the thing! Close the door! Oh, we're under. Oh, fortunately, I closed it in time. Holy balls. Look at that. We survived, though, and... The truck is still fine. We can now just sail about again. Oh, beautiful. All right, well, I guess that's where today's video is sort of gonna end. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one since we started with an actual vehicle already, but we converted it and it does actually totally work, which I am sort of surprised about. 
Obviously, I took inspiration from Jeremy Clarkson's pickup trick in Top Gear, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, and maybe we'll build something amphibious again, because I have ideas. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.